Alrighty then, Mike Chick, Mike Chick. We are going straight into our checklist tonight. You guys probably saw that from our icon coming in here on the thumbnail. And we got inspired a little bit by our buddy Ross. And he has put out a small account pre-trading checklist. I, you know, I, I thought that was a great idea. So uh, it's been a while since we talked about our checklist. A couple of things have changed, actually. Very interesting. So if you guys have the old videos from a long time ago, we're going to get that thing updated here tonight and go through that pre-market um pre-trading checklist for us and whether you're trading a small account a big account we're gonna talk about all that and all the good stuff in between let's do that right now all righty then so for everybody who's new with this don't forget do those three things right there you know the thing so let's head on right into our trading window here in the bottom and let's talk about some of the stuff that we want to do here and how we use our room. Number one thing, you wake up in the morning, you're gonna go trade. Now, it doesn't have to be the morning because we're gonna talk about sessions here in a minute, but let's just pretend you're a standard user and you are so used to getting up in the morning, going to work, doing your job. So you are a full-time trader, day trader and you're thinking, okay, waking up in the morning, first thing, as you're sitting at your desk, I, again, I don't care what you do before that. A lot of people are you know, yoga people and exercise people and they tell you exactly you gotta do this and they're you know, trying to tell you that if you just Control your life, then your trading will also be controlled. No, the market is you know, full of some chaoticness. You know, the, your human uh, ability to trade the market really is at a huge disadvantage if you're not using algorithms, in my personal opinion. The markets are controlled by algorithms. If you're not fighting back with algorithms, I think you're losing. We have a cyborg system here, which is algorithmic assisted. And of course, we also have full auto if you're doing platinum. But let's talk about those of you guys who are smashing the buttons with, uh, say, one of our gold packs. Gold pack is cyborg meaning best of human and machine combined now first thing as you sit at your desk okay you're coming into your office hopefully you've got some nice ambiance going you guys know i have this whole section on hardware where we talk about um, things that you should you know think about in your desk space and what you're doing um, make sure that is important you walk in you should be proud of your desk space but then ask yourself hey how am i feeling today you know if you got the coffee in hand hopefully you're ready to go with some kind of caffeination if you're a caffeine person you know i don't know i don't understand you people who don't do caffeine all right uh, all the studies that i have seen look caffeine is good that's all that's all i'm going to say and it's uh, you know not personal medical advice but i'm just saying get your coffee going all right and it's all about feel good in the morning because i'll tell you ask yourself though do you feel tired if you tired sometimes just take a pause go eat something you'll you'd be surprised after you get some eat going your body does this thing where it's like okay you know what i'm getting some stuff let's let's warm up and get going so uh, if you guys have watched my uh, little four minute routine with the music going thing you know i'm talking about um you know checking that you're tired eat something and ross interestingly enough listen to his stuff he actually says the same thing we both agree on that Next one, he's talking about getting frustrated in the morning if you are frustrated. Fit I have had this as well. Nasty. Mine is, hey, taste. how is your temperament today? You know, did you have an argument with somebody last night? Did you, with a, with a uh, partner, a spouse, a child, a whatever your situation is, a boss even, so for some of you guys, that if you are upset about something, you're mad about something, I am telling you right now, you will find yourself doing things. You'll be a little more stubborn on your trades, a little less likely to let go of a trade. You are just going to be in that mindset. I will say this is the only scenario in which you should literally sit yourself out. Did you hear what I'm saying? If you are angry and you're upset, you sit down at that desk. I'm telling you right now, folks, get away from your desk. Okay, personal experience. A lot of other people have heard it and said it too. I tried to quantify it, what exactly it is. Fairly certain it's that stubbornness that kicks in and you cannot be stubborn. If a trade is not working for you, boom, boom. How we do it around here, we close it out. Okay, that is number two. Next one we've got is check your calendar for the big macro event. So this one, let's pull out this calendar right here. So this is a different one than my checklist. We got this checklist here. And then Fit this dogs. one right here, this Nasdaq is your Econo Day fives. calendar. If you guys don't have one of these, again, we got this in the tips and tricks section. No, I do not get a kickback for this. No, Econo Day doesn't even know that I exist, but I know that they do. And this is an awesome little thing. They print out all of it for you in a whole year. This is, at a glance, um, everything on the economic calendar of events. This is the one for 2021. Looks like that. So pick you one up and <laughs> look at that. All your cool stuff. To circle that for you, which is how, like, at a month, we can know, hey, where are our earnings reports? Hey, where's FOMC going to be? You can circle them. You can make markers on them. Like, right now, we have, as we talked about in the last um, a couple of weeks here, we are coming into earnings season, which is why we know we could anticipate that we were going to have some great opportunities. A lot of people are like, oh, man, summer's so slow. They just write the whole summer off. That's just absolutely insane to me. There, There's a place in there. One of them is earnings season, and this is a great time to do it, which is why I was excited to do 
the small account challenge right now when we've got the VIX up. You know, we talk about around here, one of our rules is VIX up, ticks up. And that means that the higher the VIX, the more ticks that we have the opportunity to take. And that's one of our things. So checking the macro big events um, and then kind of determining, like figuring out, well, is this going to be a, you know, a week where we can get that big opportunities in the end of day or in the morning? And you guys, again, I've got videos on all that kind of stuff. So, but I'm just going through the checklist here today. Let's go to the next one. Check the news, red star for the day. So you looked at it at the macro picture. Um, things like FOMC, big picture, but now you need to go come in here and go X. All right. And if you guys are new with us, I want you to become familiar with some of our commands. If you type exclamation mark, we've got lots of little commands. Here's like a little neat one right here you want to get familiar with on our checklist here is exclamation mark news. This will go out and we are scraping this from uh, some good websites here where we can get and check out the news events. We care about those red star ones like right here. Okay. This is what's going to be happening tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We got the 1030. There's the petroleum numbers right there on the red and you'll need to know about that and of course we talk about how to trade this particular event on wednesdays and we've got rules around those so again first thing in the morning one of your checklist items is checking what that news is so that you know what time that's going to happen now sometimes here's there's two two hints i always tell you guys you absolutely must have an audio based timer meaning whether you're using a google home or an alexa or whichever one or your phone your you know whatever you want to use as long as you can call it out and say you know the word beep beep can you please Set me a timer for X number of minutes. I don't want to say it because it's going to set all you guys stuff off like it does on mine. And, you know, set that timer. And then, you know, the FOMC, if you think you're going to forget. And you don't have to do that one. That was an optional one. But it uh, that can be helpful, especially if you are a new person. Get you in the habit of making your mind be thinking about it ahead of time. So news. Now, what day is it? Next one. Ask yourself, so what day of the week is it? And we have things in our training system. If you go through um, videos one through six in the core, we go into details on each different day, but you need to identify what day is it. So it's a Wednesday, okay, wacky Wednesday. What do we do on Wednesdays for tomorrow? You know the list that we're going through on that. That should be forefront in your mind. And if you don't know what that was, you should be having notes on each type of day. And hopefully your notes for that day, be like, okay, look down your checklist for that day that we learned from our video. It is Wednesday, so I've got crude oil inventories. I've got uh, home inventory numbers as well, and knowing when those things are going to occur, and of course, picking out what session time of the day, which brings us to our next one. When you are sitting down at your desk, what time of day is it? Is it the morning? Is it the afternoon? Is it the evening? And it really doesn't matter. Everything we do here is in Eastern time. You need to set your clocks on your computers for our system to Eastern time. This allows us to execute with LunchBot. It also keeps everybody in the crew on the same page, and it's just what you have to do for our system to work properly. All right, we're going to learn another command here, exclamation mark sessions. Okay, if you want to know what our sessions breakdown is, you can print this out for yourself if you'd like. These are, you just need to know what time I sit down. Am I sitting down in the morning session? See these little boxes? Each one of these represents a section. There's a section, there's a section, there's a section, there's a section. This is how our day breaks down. Intraday, if you are trading in U.S. markets intraday systems, this is the intraday list. And you'll learn that in the core video lessons one through six. Again, these are all free on our website. You can go check that out. Another one is exclamation mark sessions two. This is for those of you guys who are in the overnight crowd or you are in Europe, uh, London. We've got a lot of folks from London. We've got the folks in Australia. This really more applies to them. I usually recommend, hey, be very careful. Only trade this if there is a catalyst event as we teach you guys. But there are the two session setups that you need to make sure that you know what time you are sitting down. That is the next one on our list. Next one on our list is VIX, rising or falling. So you can come in our room and type exclamation mark VIX, okay, boom. Now, exclamation mark VIX is gonna pull up this little bad boy right here. We'll tell you the current, it will tell you the previous, and it'll tell you the open. And we've got rules around what to do with that, but you just check that, got it on your list, and then execute what we're doing off of our VIX reading uh, according to our, our list there. Now, next one is how do we choose our instruments? Now. If you type exclamation mark gears, we teach a lot about what we're doing with gear shifting. So gear shifting for us is which instrument are you going to choose uh, for that day? Is it going to be in NQ, YM, RTY? These are listed in order by speed from top to bottom. So fastest at the top, slowest at the bottom. And of course, we got the micros list as well down here. But these are the minis that we focus on. This is our entire world right here. Another one of those things, like if you're a stocks trader and you're finally coming into e-minis and waking up to the fact that futures have so many um, advantages from tax advantages to simplicity, et cetera. This is the entire world, folks. You don't have to hunt through 2,000 some odd stocks to figure out what's hot that day and who's moving and get on everybody's watch list and figure out who's the mover and Momo bar ch chase and all that and penny stock hop. Like you don't have to do any of that. We just go, this is our world. Hey, and these are what we're choosing from. So you're literally, you know, 
And really, we got it narrowed down to like basically the top four, okay, um, with ES, okay? So NQYM, RTY, ES, as you guys see on my live streams, and that's mostly what we do. If I've got my full automated system, I'm gonna go across all of these. And of course, that's a whole other conversation. So if you guys have questions around that, you can go through our video trainings. And again, that is free on the website on the mentorship training section. Link is down below in the description. Let's move on. So next one. So you know what the speed is. So now you need to check, well, what is the speed today? Well, that you gotta got a feel for. You can get it from the VIX as we've taught. However, some of it is just eyeballing. Okay, first thing, just kind of kick back and go, well, is the market moving fast? If you don't really see a lot of ticks going. And the other thing is the ear. How can you cue in? Listen to it. If you're over here in the audio box room, you need to know how to get to this. In our room, the audio box room, you can sit in here anytime you want. Just click right here. I don't want to click in there right now because there's people in there. Here we go. I'll go on this one because there's nobody hanging out here. It's after hours. So I'll go on this one right here. So here you will listen in on the audio box Flowmaster. If you don't know what Flowmaster is, you can go up here to the top and understand how our Flowmaster system works. Click on the link here with audio box and Flowmaster. And you can come in here to the three videos and the fourth where you see live um, trading using it. But you will learn all of those right here. This one is going to be in order. Um, there's part three. This one really goes in depth on you know listening and giving you examples of the drilling of you know listening to the tape and how rapidly this is coming in. And you'll get the hang of it. It's hard to describe. This is something that you know vis visually trying to explain something that is auditory is a little a little bit tricky. So I won't necessarily try to to do that for you now. And if you're hanging out in the room there, there is an audio that does tell you about it. That we've got high pitched clack and a lower pitch boom, depending on if we are moving up or we're moving down and how fast and how hard the markets are moving. So you can pick out which instruments that you're going to be uh, working on and have an idea of, hey, is this going to be a high volatility day where I get lots of opportunities or am I going to be sweating a little bit on the times? And you can decide whether or not, hey, you can just maybe not even trade that session if it's super slow. Another way you can do that, remember this, is VIX up, ticks up. There's the visual on that in our room that we remind ourselves of because, you know, we also have our members helping this out when we post these in the room. So everybody's like, hey, don't forget, high VIX, let's do it. Okay. Next one on our list here is resetting your five trades sheet. So this is a physical thing. Now, if you have not been in our room or if you might be new to this, everybody here in my room should already have one of these printed out. If you don't, hey, do it. I'm just telling you, you need to. It's a vision boarding tool. This is how we track how many trades are on. So in the morning, I'm gonna reset this. Bam, 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 bam. I've got my five trades ready to go. I've got my sixth one. I'm gonna set on the side for my bonus trade if that trade opportunity um, gets itself there. So we're going to reset our five trade sheet for our session. That is another important thing that you need to do on your checklist. Next one is earnings. So back again, another command in our room. All right. So another command. Next, we're going to be looking at earnings. You need to know is earnings there. Now you should, if you had this calendar, again, I know a lot of people don't go and get it and it's it fine. Don't. Okay. If you, if you think you can, Tuesday. you know, whim it, it's fine. Wing it. That's great. Here we go. So now I can tell right now there are 87 companies reporting today and I can see like the next couple of days. Sometimes if there's a huge day, like uh, the next day, this can also, we'll talk about trading toward the golden ropes. You'll learn those rules in our FOMC trainings, as well as, hey, we call these like pre macro events, meaning, so if today is Tuesday, and if I had looked to see that tomorrow, Wednesday is gonna be, wow, huge earnings report day that day, I know that today, might be pushing everything kind of toward the golden rope. So I'm gonna mainly be looking for trades to trade toward the golden ropes, which is very, very helpful to pick out your bias of direction when we are trying to pick out our trades. Okay, so that is our earnings. So let's go to our next one on our list. FOMC is today in FOMC, which is pretty much always gonna be on a Wednesday unless we had like a, a holiday. So we had a holiday just recently, we had 4th of July. So then that pushed everything back. But in general, that is only gonna be on a Wednesday, but if it is, someone in the room will probably type this, exclamation mark FOMC. What does that mean? That means that today is the fear of market conditions. Yes, I know it doesn't actually stand for that, but the when the Fed is speaking and they're having their minutes released and whatnot at 2 p.m. Eastern time is usually always when they do it. Again, unless there's some crazy exception, you know that it's 2 p.m., which means we have specific rules. Anything, again, some people say, oh, the market's chaos, and so there's nothing ordered about it. Look, folks, there are things that are very ordered about the markets. Don't believe those guys. Like, just step away from them. They're, they're terrible traders. They don't know what they're talking about. You know, so... The, at the end of the day, we are looking for those patterns. We are looking in and locking in what the market we know does, which is, hey, it's crude oil inventories. You know things are going to move on that day. FOMC, you know how things are going to be moving. There's going to, there requires movement. There's no way that the markets do not react because that is something that is brand new, new information. The markets will adapt. So FOMC, good to know. And we have rules around how to trade that. We won't, again, we're not going into the stuff on how to do it, but this is your checklist of things you need to be thinking about in the morning. Okay, now we're talking about how, here's where we get to 
the kind of the trickier stuff, the cadence. Cadence, we, you learn about in videos one and two in that video core section, and we're talking about the cadence of your PNL. I wanna show you guys something. If you'd like to have a tip and trick to go and get for yourself, in a room, type hashtag tips. And so you go here, Vinny's tips and tricks. So you can come right down in here, and this will take you to some of our resources. And I would like to show you guys one that is super helpful, especially early in your career. You know, later on, you're gonna get used to this. I used to have this printed out on my walls and I would just always look at something like this. This was awesome for me. You should be able to keep this at a glance, um, whether you do a paper one, you know, in hand, or if you wanna do an electronic one, we've got lots of our members that kind of have created kind of with some creative ones like this, but this should tell you, like, look at it. Just overall to kind of go, okay, what days, how am I doing here? What, you know, what, what are my, my, my win days, my loss days, kind of keep them tracked across the board. As we're coming over to this sheet, you're kind of going like, well, what is this one? Well, this is actually what I kind of call my clean sheet. This is one I started with. Uh, I printed this one out and created this a long time ago. And we had some of our members, you know, get creative and create that other one. And, you know, there's lots of versions in our room that you've seen. If you guys want to print out this one, I like this one because I can just come in here. I can color it. I can put the numbers in it and kept the same one for forever until it finally, I think, tore off my wall um, and when we moved. But that one right there stuck with me for a very long time. And of course, here's that other sheet. If you'd like to print that one out, as far as our trade count NASDAQ system. On and that one there is super helpful. And of course, this is me when I was using Nerf darts. Of course, now I use uh, golden Trump coins. And you know, take your pick how you guys want to put those out. If you'd like those, the, the coins that I have, we actually, somebody posted a link earlier there today for that. So uh, if you are trying to, to check that out. Now, the cadence that matters here on that checklist is to go, okay, well, what is it today? Am I, am I like, if I had, um, you know, two, three green days, like, like this one here, like let's say you go on this winning streak and you've had just awesome days in a row, like you know you're kind of due, right? What I have found that if you mentally prepare yourself for a loss, what's interesting is that you can actually avoid it. It's almost as though like by just simply recognizing the fact that today might be a loss, you can actually adjust and adapt to figure out like, you know what, today the market might be one of those days because it's not about you, folks. This is where these furu gurus will lie to you and tell you, oh, it's you, it's you, you did something different. No, it didn't, the market changed, the market shifted, the market did a thing, okay? The market is gonna go into this little weird thing that it does on a single day, and if you just control your loss on that day, okay, then everything else works out. That's the key, and we've taught that. You know, we have our profit factors that you guys see all the, on a regular basis. Our system really helps with that because we're going to put our stops exactly where they're supposed to be. You put the stops either behind the cross, you put the stops behind the dot, or you put the stops behind a box. We keep it very, very simple. And next one on the list. So you've identified the cadence at the week level. So now let's go into. Okay, so you've now prepared yourself. You know what your day is going to bring. You're kind of thinking about it. You've got it locked into your head on what you're expecting, but always being prepared and reacting appropriately. That is the key. And that, my friends, is where you turn up the jam. Now, what does that mean? On your list, check your music. Folks, now, look, there are some people who still swear to this day like they cannot trade with music. I don't understand those people, <laughs> okay? I can't trade without it. But they have been, there have been studies that are especially rapid music. Now, I know people are like, well, I like the mellow and I like the, well, what are you gonna do when the market's quick and whatnot? I, I would say you're at a massive disadvantage if you're playing with slow music. Just hear me out, it's my opinion, and I'll let me back it up a minute, okay? They have proven that when people go into restaurants that if they are, um, if they play fast music, people will chew faster, chew faster, it's weird. Like you chew at the time of the thing so they can actually get more people through the system quickly by increasing the speed of the music that they're playing. And so keep the tempo going. So clear through, clear through more people, clear through more tables and they make more money. Now, does it mean that more trades are gonna be, I'm not saying trades, but I'm talking about your reaction time, okay? That if your brain is thinking at a certain pace, tat, 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 or it's thinking at like this, or it's thinking at like this, all right? These, these are different and that rhythm and that time can change things. I'll do a whole video on theta waves and, and alpha waves at some point, really, really cool stuff that I've looked into, really, really neat and it does help in my opinion and it has kind of been proven through some scientific studies on that as well. So turn up the jams now right before you're about to get going, right? Feel that groove and especially sometimes you got a jam. You know, you got that one jam that just gets you in the mood, okay? Back in the day for me, it was Gotta Be, okay? Gotta Be by Desri. You know which one I'm talking about? You know, it's like, you gotta be, you gotta be bad, you gotta be bold, you gotta be wiser, you gotta be hard, you gotta be tough, you gotta be stronger. You know that whole thing? Yeah, I, I mean, it sounds good in the shower, I promise. It uh, sounds terrible in here, so uh, bear with me. But Desiree does a great job at it, and it really used to get me going in the morning. I would play that one. It was actually my wake-up jam, and I do think that that elevates your mood, and that can change, help you out with your trading as well. And then I thought this was actually good from Ross. So I'm giving Ross another mad prop on him ask, uh, him saying like, print out your equity curve. I thought this was interesting. 
especially for new traders, printing out an equity curve. And his, his thought process was this, and I, and I liked it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to blank screen here. And uh, he said, you know, print out your, your, your equity curve for, um, for your simulation results, okay? So again, you guys know, you start here in simulation, you do market replay with us, you practice the strategies that we do. And you know, watch these because what he he pointed out a good point. He's like, you know, you're if you're going along and you you you're doing really well, and then oh, you have this dip right here. But if you have have some history there, if you guys do the 120 days that we tell you to do before we kind of go live, is that you'll remember this spot here where you're like, oh man, I don't know Our what happened. Pattern. I had Nasty you know, two on the two red days in a row, and I was just like, you know, he had a good point. Like some new traders will think, oh, was I just getting lucky, man? My streaks over. Oh, I must I must be terrible again. I'm going to tell you not you, the market shifts, your system, your tools, let the edge inside of our tools and system play out for you, okay? Um, it's weird and it's hard to think through that, but again, with practice, you, you look at our members' results, they're doing fantastic, I'm so proud of our crew, doing an excellent job, but I liked what he said, is like putting this out, printing this out somewhere, sticking it up in your thing, being like, you know what? When I have those drawdowns, it doesn't matter. I have it and I keep on and I've succeed, you know, I've succeeded in in it before and I just keep at it and we're gonna go, right? You're gonna have that drawdown, no big deal. Just as long as you don't make it look like a drawdown like you know, Day Trader Paradise from over there, you know, Matt and his uh, Martingale strategies where they just add, 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 and they call it digging. If you hear anybody say the word, I'm digging out, look, folks, stay away. Just stay away, all right? All right, their PLs go and then they YOLO it and hope that it, you know, bounces back up. They lose literally hundred percent. Um, and then try to hide it in their streams. It's, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing these people that how they how how they get away with it. Don't don't even get it. Um, so that is all right. So the final moments before you are about about to get going. Uh, we talked about the morning. Now, assuming we were in the morning, but remember what I talked about in that session count. If you are in the afternoon, we know that there are certain personalities for the morning or the afternoon or the middle of the day. So looking at that sessions list there are certain things that you're going to be doing. In the morning, obviously there is you know, a specific time, like literally right there at 9.30, that you are like, okay, you need to prep up for that and go, okay, really? I want you to sit on your hands for five minutes, right? 9.35 should be your first trade if you were doing that early, early morning right here session. Now, if you're trading before that, hey, it's great. In fact, you can get great little trades there for the first two hours before that even happens. Again, futures markets are open uh, 23.5. So again, great Last opportunities day. to trade in the morning if you're up for it. And but that event right there is a you know something that you need to prepare for. But if you're in the afternoon, two o'clock, you've got things and events that can occur right there at two o'clock, whether it's FOMC or at the end of the day, you've got at the end of the day, the final 10 minutes, you got the lucky sevens, all those things that you learn in our system. Remember, like in your final thing as you're going through your checklist is okay, what's my next event? This is it. Ask yourself, final thing, what is the next event? Okay. If there is one, great. If there's not, be like, okay, well, I'm just looking. And the first thing you're starting to do is starting to look over there at that MACV filter, okay? But before you do that, the very final thing is, now we're moving up to our highest time frames. How do we do that? We're looking at your tide, your wave, and your ripple. For me, I like to have them all on one so I can see them at a glance to go, which one do I think is in play? Today was a great example of, well, on the highest time frames, was there something that stands out? Just look for something that stands out. Don't be trying to like micro it, okay? Just like, uh, you know, micro analyze it. Just look, you see that right there? That stands out to me. This, that stands out to me. This, this stands out to me, okay? This one, uh, not, no, not really. Um, yeah, so I would literally go, I'm not gonna trade the ES. Um, YM, look at this, I've got two hits on RTY. This is gonna be my big hitter. See how easy that was? I'm just gonna look at it and go, boom, that's what I want. In Q, again, um, again, right now I'm not trading in Q at all because I'm doing small account challenge. Um, if this was coming on right now, I, I like that that's happening right there, but I've got two things here. So again, I'm just kind of process of elimination. First thing I'm gonna look at is RTY, just to see if there's an opportunity right there and immediately to carry on with the high time frame. Remember that we move from tide, wave, and then enter in on our ripples. Good dot. Right. Nasty. All right, folks, I know I ran a little bit longer than I expected to. Hope you guys got something out of that. If you guys want to actually learn now the details after that, because you do need to know your strategies. Remember in your first 40 days, you need to pick out your three or four strategies out of the Baker's Dozen or so that we have that are very, very powerful. And if you wanna go and learn all those, you need to head over to our website and then click on the very center link right up here at the top. It says Strategy Training Video Library. These six right here will literally teach you six strategies back to back to back. You can literally do our two week free trial and you can execute these strategies and see them in real time. And you can learn those literally 
overnight. These don't take that long. I don't know, they're 30 minutes a piece, so you can run it at high speed. I don't know, up to you. Everybody's a little bit different on that. But there's library one. You can click here to go to library two. Library three, when you get to library three, this is where the stuff really gets you know deep and you really want to get the fundamental understanding, starting to bring everything together right there in the core. And then of course you got libraries four and libraries five that will roll out your set and you're gonna feel, you should feel very confident in what we're doing there. Um, and again, you just, it takes a little, it takes much longer than that, but if you were trying oh, to ramp up, this is the master. shortcut version of going, hey, if I'm trying to decide on if I want to do this or not, if this is the system for you, those videos should kind of get you to that spot where you can confidently make that decision. And if we can help you to make out the decision, you know, let us know. Don't forget the summertime, after summer, gold is going away. We're not doing lifetime stuff with gold that'll include the lunch bot and stuff anymore. So last chance to get the lunch bot stuff. And of course, we're doing those discount offers here and those will also go away. It's just something that we had to do. We're going to that level. And so just want to make sure that everybody knows about those and great opportunities to hook it up with us. And we will look forward to having you in the crew. I will catch you guys on the flip side for me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunch Bot, Moss Squad, Curtis, G, and the rest of the gang. Let's send out that big H-Town. See ya.